It's Ryan in Washington, D.C. Now, I know you recognize that building. It's the world-famous George Washington Monument. But as we pan over, hopefully you recognize we're right now at the Tidal Basin area. This is most known for May. Everyone says you've got to come and see the cherry blossoms. And this area is flooded with activity. But today is actually November 8th. And I want to pay tribute to these beautiful trees because it's a great opportunity to come and check out fall foliage. And think of how long you have. If it's November 8th, and these beautiful orange and yellow and golden fire leaves are still on the tree, there's something here for you to see. I'm Ryan in Washington, D.C. Till next time. Hey, it's Ryan. I'm here in Washington, D.C. as well for the Japanese Street Fair, which is in addition to the National Cherry Blossom Festival. Let's take a walk through J-pop land. Washington, D.C. is part of the National Cherry Blossom Festival. Three. It's the National Cherry Blossom Festival. We're going to check in with the lead singer of American Short Hair. How are you? Hi. <laughs> so what was this experience like performing at the Japanese Street Fair as part of the National Cherry Blossom Festival? Uh, he said because the uh, audience was so energetic that he also got the energy from them and he had a great time with his performance. So today is about exploring Japanese culture and bringing it forward as part of the Cherry Blossom Festival. Coming from Japan, how do you feel what we saw behind us represented your home country? <laughs> あ、すごい、あの、すごい日本の、日本人も忘れそうな文化をやっていて素晴らしいと思った。So uh, he said that um he thought there was a lot of uh, cultural exhibits here that uh show Japanese culture that many Japanese themselves forget, you know, traditional culture and he thought it was very great that they had such a wide a range of um, Japanese culture on display. Well, now that you brought Japanese culture right here to America, what's next for the band American Short Hair? えっと、次はアメリカンショートエアは何をしますか?将来はどういう?将来はアメリカでもたくさんライブをしたいのと、世界中でライブをやっていって、自分たちの音楽をより多くの人に知ってもらいたい。so, so he said uh, he would like to do live, uh, or do tours in the U.S. with um, live audiences like today, and also he would like to do that around the world and let their music be heard around the world to everyone. Well, before we go, do you have a favorite American pop singer? Uh, Nora Jones. Nora Jones. What is it about Nora Jones that you like? <laughs> Are cherry blossom trees the blooming or something that's celebrated as well in Japan? He said yes, in Japan it's very much enjoyed and um, it's also enjoyed with alcohol. You sit underneath the cherry trees and drink your alcohol, so yes, very much so. <laughs> well, kicking off right here, lots of fun happening at the National Cherry Blossom Festival, Japanese Street Fair. I'm Ryan in Washington, D.C. with Hideki from American Short Hair. Until next time. Hey, it's Ryan Walowski. I'm in Washington, D.C. for the National Cherry Blossom Festival. And the cherry trees, well, they're in full bloom this weekend. Take a look. It's a quick walk around the Tidal Basin in Washington, D.C. Welcome.
Hey, it's Ryan Walowski. I'm in Washington, D.C., right alongside of the Tidal Basin. And what I'm going to show you now is the George Washington Monument and the Jefferson Memorial, well, from the viewpoint of a blossom. That's DC at nine. Happy Cherry Blossom Festival. Hey, it's Ryan Wolowski giving you a little bit of DC after dark. Now, this is being shot on the Canon PowerShot SD780 on the manual settings for you camera junkies. Let's take another quick look of DC after dark. Let's wrap this up with well, a shot of the Lincoln Memorial at night. It's Ryan Wolowski. I'm here in Washington, D.C. to bring you inside to check out a room at the Windsor Inn. Let's take a look inside. Now the interesting thing about this location is that we are on 16th Street, Cross Street would be T. Now if you keep walking down 16th Street to H Street, you'd be at, well, the White House. Just a point of reference. Now let's check out that master room. There's some artwork on the wall of the historical Smithsonian Institution, right by the nightstand, cable television. Now notice this space heater on the floor. I'm not exactly sure if this facility doesn't have heating or this is just, you know, if you want to keep one specific area of the room warmer than another, which is right across from your remote controlled air conditioner.
And we have ample space right here in the closet. Additional hangers were available down at the desk if we needed more. Let's check out that rest area now. It's very clean in here. And definitely working in a theme of a soft brown. Rather contemporary. Not 100% we'd expect when dealing with southern and colonial inspired Washington, D.C. Now how much do you think this room would go for? Well, here it is. Internet prices for spring of 2009 brought this room down to $119 a night. Now check out this rate on the door. I'm not sure if you can even see it. But it says here that this room is listed at $200 a night. So if you shop online, you can certainly get yourself a discount. And we are in walking distance from the White House. The Lincoln Memorial, the George Washington Monument, the U.S. Capitol, it's all right here. And, well, it's under $120. I'm Ryan in Washington, D.C. Till next time. Hey, it's Ryan, and I'm window watching again in, well, a new city. You may have caught the last clip when I was in South Beach, Miami, in wonder out the window watching people line up to go into Club Cameo on Washington and Española Way. Well, speaking of Washington, this time I'm in Washington, D.C., our nation's capital. And check out the activity, well, outside this window. Yeah. This is a real quiet city. There's something actually a little bit exciting. Besides the fact there is some traffic on the road. Right there is, well, it's a cherry blossom tree. I'm actually in Washington, D.C. for the National Cherry Blossom Festival. And that is, well, right over there, it's kind of dark. I'll show you one more time. It's one of the white flowering cherry blossom trees. Take a look. Now, it may actually not look like the prettiest of places, but where I'm actually staying is in Northwest Washington, D.C. on 16th Street. Cross Street would be T. If you headed over to 16th Street and H Street, H as in Halloween, you'd be at the White House, which is probably about maybe less than a five or under a ten minute walk from where I am window watching in Washington, D.C. So, so this is the activity in spring of 2009. I'm Ryan. Till next time. Hey, it's Ryan. I'm in Washington, D.C. bringing you through, well, a quick check of the Embassy Inn Hotel, which is on 16th Street in Northwest, D.C. 16th Street, Cross Street would be R. And if you were at H, and 16th Street, you'd be at, well, the White House, just for a point of reference. Let's check out that master room. Here's the Embassy Inn. Hey, everybody. Now, this has a darker wood finish. What I would like to think would be definitely a more classic colonial southern style of Washington, D.C. The Smithsonian Institution, artwork right here on the wall, and here's our rest area in blue. This would be your reference point for Washington, D.C. If you need an affordable place to stay, check out the Embassy Inn. Now, if you book direct, you might be paying a little bit more than if you search online. So if you want to get a discount, let's try it online. But also keep in mind, they serve you breakfast in the morning every day from, I think, from 9 to 11. So take about $10 off your bill because you can sit right here and have your breakfast at the Embassy Inn. I'm Ryan in Washington, D.C. Till next time. I think that's worked.
take a flyer. I got a website right there. Like this? Yes. I have a website video. Thank you. If you like some flyers, you know, I'm not going to take so much of your paper. I'm going to look online and Thank save you. your paper for another day. Can you tell me about the space? Um, pardon? Can you tell me about your setup? MTV. Anything you want to tell us? Anything you want to tell us? Well, visit the website and uh, check out my complete revision of the Constitution. It's kind of like the French Revolution without the guillotine. Is there one specific point that's important to you that you want to tell us about? Yeah, the government is ignoring the people. Nobody wanted the Troubled Asset Relief Program. Nobody. It's time to make them pay attention.
it's Ryan Wolowski. I'm in Washington, D.C. in front of the Jefferson Memorial, surrounded, well, by the Tidal Basin for the National Cherry Blossom Festival. Take a look as the sun is setting over 2,000 flowering cherry trees in peak bloom. <laughs> That's right. Wish my pretty. <laughs> it's kind of a transition at the moment, but um, we haven't actually started yet. <laughs> Ryan, I'm in Washington, D.C. at the National Cherry Blossom Festival. Eli Matson, how are you? I'm good, man. <laughs> now, this is a great event right here at the Tidal Basin at the Jefferson Memorial, performing live. How many people are out there watching you? I couldn't count them. There's a, there were a lot of people on those steps. And it was just amazing. Now, you gave them an original track today, the song called Seven. And what other original tracks did you perform today? Um, I did one called Wandering One, which is newer. And uh, number seven is on uh, the old album I did a few years ago. And uh, it's on uh, Amazon.com. What was the response here? Because this is a really mixed audience. We're celebrating the Japanese cherry blossom trees in full bloom. But if you look at the demographics, everybody showed up for the event. Yeah. What was the response like? I think the response was uh, really good. They, uh, they sat there and they listened. And it's all you can really <laughs> ask for from people when you're playing. So. Well, speaking of listening, is there a full-length album coming? Might we hear a bunch of original tracks? Or is it going to be a full length of possibly covers? Um, yeah, like I said, there's the old record that's out there that's all original stuff, and uh, we're just getting the preliminary works of the new album that's going to hopefully come out later this year. So. Television, let's talk it real fast. What was America's Got Talent like for you, Eli? It was, uh, uh, like, I just, just, I can keep saying, it's just the best summer camp ever. You know, a lot of work it took a good chunk of the year out of my life, but it gave me a lot of open doors. and. Give me a whole bunch of new friends, so it's just been fantastic. Now, before you leave Washington, D.C., Eli, what's on your to-do list? What do you want to see here while you're live in our nation's capital? Oh, I want to uh, walk around, see some of the sights, and uh, see some of the bars, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll find him in Georgetown. Ryan, checking in with Eli Matson right here at the National Cherry Blossom Festival. Hey, it's Ryan Wolowski. I'm in Washington, D.C. at the Tidal Basin area for the National Cherry Blossom Festival. And this weekend, the cherry blossoms, well, they are in peak bloom. Just another reason that you should be here. Here's a quick walk around the basin just to enjoy the beauty. Well, that is the National Cherry Blossom Festival. <laughs> So this is it. I'm in Washington, D.C. right now, and it's the National Cherry Blossom Festival. All of the trees are in peak bloom. I'm here, and you're not. So this is the official invitation. I'm going to have this to you immediately. That means you have 365 days to make sure you're here. Randolph Wicker, there is a Japanese street fair with a place called J-Pop Land. You spend 365 days of your year downloading J-Pop music next year, get here. Friends and family, I know Kelly, my niece, you're in Myrtle Beach, you're forgiven, but everyone else, you're still in New York. Here it is, a year's invite notice, the National Cherry Blossom Festival. This booklet, there are over 300 things to do. Things for me to do, things for you to do, things for the kids to do. www.nationalcherryblossomfestival.org And my friends who think, well, I don't really want to do anything cultural. There's stuff to do at night. There's no excuse. You can all get invited. I'll see you in D.C. next year for the National Cherry Blossom Festival. Hey, it's Ryan Wolowski. I'm in Washington, D.C. for the National Cherry Blossom Festival. And here's a rare opportunity for you to get up close and personal with some of the cherry blossom trees that are on the front lawn of the White House. Take a look.